Today we're here with a Renault Clio RS Trophy uh, with a little hole in there because otherwise it wouldn't fit. And here we are, that is 233. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we're here with a Renault Clio RS Trophy that has been tuned by EP Automotive and is also for sale at EP Automotive. So if you're interested in buying this car, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description and the top comment. Uh, for now, well, we're going to take a look at it because it has been tuned, as I said, it has quite a few modifications and it looks really cool. I like this color a lot. Don't see them that often in this color. So I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool things on this car and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video. And check us out on Instagram if you like, at autotopnl. All right, so what do we have? Well, we have a 2018 model and you can see that it is the facelift model because it has the Finnish flag daytime running lights i don't know why they're off now okay whatever uh you can see that because of those lights down there uh, we have a carbon hood scoop basically uh, with a little hole in there because otherwise it wouldn't fit but that is dedicated tuning uh, we've got a red one, as I said, which I really like. We've got an upgraded brake system. So this is a Brembo big brake kit. This is actually from uh, a Clio 3 RS. So the previous one, the better one. Uh, but this is quite a bit bigger than a previous Clio. These are the trophy wheels, I think. And it looks pretty cool with that black and the Brembo red brake calipers. Behind that, we've got black mirror caps, uh, the trophy badge, We've got standard brakes at the rear, I think. And well, this is a really good upgrade for this car. This is the cup spoiler from the cup car. So from the race car. And it looks really cool. It makes this rear end look super aggressive and racy. Really like that. And at the rear, we've got all black logos, a black Renault logo, this black, black. I really like that combination of black and red. We've got an Akrapovic exhaust. Well, the rear part of the exhaust at least with the tips. And we've got a Decat downpipe as well, not from Akrapovic. And we'll take a look at the engine as well. Where is it? There it is. So we've got the 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. Of course, we came from the two liter uh, naturally aspirated. So stock, the trophy has 220 horsepower. Now, uh, as I said, we've got that DCAT downpipe. We've got an ITG air intake, uh, an AirTech intercooler, and that brings the total to, with an ECU remap, to 250 horsepower and 360 Newton meters of torque, uh, which is, quite nice considering this car only weighs like 1280 kilos or something like that and on the inside well it's pretty basic but i do like the fact that if you compare this to a clio 3 which i prefer driving wise with the manual gearbox and a naturally aspirated engine this is a lot more grown up also inside you have a lot more space in here uh, you've got well somewhat of an infotainment system uh, of course, we've got the double clutch gearbox as well, an Alcantara steering wheel, which is an update as well by EP Automotive. And it also has KW V3 suspension. So that's an upgrade as well. It makes it really hard and firm. So quite a few modifications on this car. And well, I think it looks really cool. So if you're interested in buying this car, as I said, it's for sale at EP Automotive. Um, go check it out if you like it, because yeah, it is very special. It's it's quite dedicated. All right, so let's take it for a drive. We have to put the gearbox in manual and then hold this button for race. There we go, which tightens everything up and gives us a better gearbox as well. Because apparently if you drive it in sport mode, the gearbox doesn't really... Nice. It wants to kill you? Because if you drive it in sport, apparently 
the gearbox doesn't really like it. It's a bit too much. In race, the gearbox is a bit more aggressive and it's more able to cope with the power. So, that is, that is quite a loud and aggressive sound. I really, really like that, especially that upshift. You get this, this really dirty, messy crackle. And I really like that. It's quite loud as well. It's quite hard, the suspension. So it is, it is a really, really nice die hard hold hatch this. All right, here we go. Second gear. Have them. You have to manage the throttle a little bit uh, with this wet tarmac, damp tarmac. Because it doesn't have a mechanical limited slip, it has this electronic fake LSD. Uh, so it tries to mimic the functionality of a limited slip diff, but it's, it doesn't really work because it takes way too long for the, the diff to understand what's going on and to do anything about it. So you just have to be gentle and short shift if you need to. But I have to say, I haven't driven this car, a Clio RS of this generation in quite some time. It is fun to drive because it is so light. <laughs> and I mean, we've grown custom to yeah to to really quick gearboxes and a super smooth power delivery which is really linear and this is a bit more messy and a bit more hardcore and i really like that i mean if you compare this to a vw polo gti of its time this is so much more entertaining now this is a trophy as I said, so stock 220 horsepower up from 200 in the regular uh, Clio RS. And it also got a, an upgraded gearbox. So this gearbox was a lot better already than the previous Clio RS. And after this version, you got the one in the Renault Megane RS, which was even better. So they did develop this gearbox. And this is a pretty good version, I would say. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. All right, so let's take it to the Autobahn. <laughs> it, <laughs> the power delivery is pretty good. It's, you can feel everything through your seat and your pedals and, and the steering wheel, which is nice. They do know how to set up a fun car. So here we go, full throttle. You've got that sound from the Akrapovich at the rear and the Deacon downpipe. It does make it quite a bit louder than stock. So performance wise, of course, we did our 100 to 200 measurement and it performed pretty well. 15.72 uh, seconds from 100 to 200, that is respectable. It's about the same as the 250 horsepower Ford Fiesta ST we tested. So it seems like it does have the 250 horsepower. The KW, pretty firm. Pretty bumpy, but really nice on a good B-road, of course. And here we are, that is 233, 234 kilometers an hour. Without too much trouble. It is pretty bumpy though for the Autobahn. It's not really what it's made for. And you can feel that rear spoiler. Of course it does add some drag so at the top end uh, you can feel that it it does struggle a little bit but i mean that's not really what we care about in this car of course <laughs> that upshift is so cool 
have to say the response to the pedals I mean it's not super quick or anything but it's better than I remember so I thought it would be much worse it's not bad and of course to say goodbye to the little Clio we've got a little tunnel yeah that is that rev limiter sounds good as well with that exhaust yeah that's a very very good sound I really like it the car in general is much more aggressive than I remember well it's been tuned of course but I like it I like it so if you're interested as I said the car is for sale at EP Automotive link is in the description and the top comment for now thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right there. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you the next one. Bye.